Paul Cannaval, you first ran out for Chelsea in 1982 and suffered pretty grim racism back then. What was that like? <laughs> Dramatic. Um, a feeling that I didn't enjoy, um, just being a young lad that, that came into football um, following his dreams. Um, making his debut at Chelsea, didn't expect to receive what I'd received. And that what time. did you receive? Um, the racist chance, um, thinking that was coming from the, uh, the, the home supporters, which was Crystal Palace at the time, and then realising it was from my um, own supporters. And I say that a minority, but it, the effect, is, it was major for me. Um, and I then when you see today, this video... I'm upset, I'm ashamed because of the work I've been doing with Chelsea, as well as Chelsea is doing. Um, it's just, obviously, everybody's on the top of their tongue. Um, a leopard can't lose its spots, and that's not the truth. There's a lot of work behind the background and what Chelsea does, and myself, and other, the fans itself. You've still got a fan there today saying it didn't happen? Well, Denying it's not it. done. That it didn't happen, we see it happen. But it's where it's coming from. And Rasheen Wood, I mean, your organisation's been trying to kick racism out of football since 1993. Mm -hmm. I mean, what has gone wrong? I don't think it has gone wrong. I think there's a lot still to do, but I think we've moved on a lot in the last 20 years. Um, I agree with Paul. That doesn't look like it, though, does it? That video? I think it's important to say that that's the minority. The majority of Chelsea supporters would not, I think, in any way justify that sort of behaviour. Um, I think this is a minority of, of fans. I think Chelsea has done a lot of work, as Paul's mentioned, around the Equality University agenda. This, this Saturday is a game absolutely dedicated to that. In a sense, I mean, it's depressing, though, isn't it, that we keep talking about it's a minority of fans, and mm -hmm. we've been talking about that for 20 years. I think, you know, we've moved... people are thinking it, it can't just be a minority. Well, we feel it is still a minority. I think we feel very much that the clubs have moved on so much in the last 20 years. It's still there, as it is in society. Mm. I mean, it's a society issue as well as being a football-only issue. We feel that the work that our campaign and show races in the red card the FA, the authorities, the clubs, the players themselves and managers have done, has moved it on well, so far. You say that, but, you know, there are a litany of pretty shaming comments coming from the top. You've got a former Italian national coach, Arrigo Sacchi, saying there are too many black players in Italy, which is a sign that the country has no dignity. Malky Mackay at Wigan has got himself into huge trouble being offensive about a Malaysian gentleman. You know, th this is not ill-educated minority of fans. These are people at the top. This is still a cultural problem, isn't it? I think absolutely. There's still a demand. There's still a need for education. There's still a need for where there is for today, for Chelsea to find these fans today and charge them and, and, and go after them with the letter of the law. And it was great to see the Met say exactly that. So there still is the need for punishment, but there still is the need for education. But we have to recognise that we have moved on. Can we do more? Absolutely. Can the clubs do more? Absolutely. I mean, Paul, would you like to see Chelsea penalised in some way? No. As uh, well as the fans? Um, don't get me wrong. The, 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 the accusation would always go to the club because they're supporters of the club. And that's right, isn't real. it, to an extent? I don't think so. Don't get me wrong. There's always a case. Um, what now Chelsea has to do, and any club would have to do, would have to do a lot more. Um, and to seek these individuals, these culprits, out um, how that's going to work is the fan, the real fans itself, they can point these guys out. And do you it, think they'll do that? Yeah, trust me, the disgusting to fans I've talked to, I believe they will, and something seriously will be happening. One of the big issues is the penalties against players who are accused of racism and against the clubs. I mean, Luis Suarez was fined forty thousand pounds, you know, at a time when he was probably earning close to one hundred and fifty, maybe even two hundred thousand pounds a week. It's pretty pathetic, isn't it? I think absolutely the sanctions should be tougher in certain instances. Um, I think where, for example, today where there's banning orders needed, where there's prosecution needed, absolutely. I think there's an awful lot too about education. The work that Paul's been doing also is about educating players and managers and fans. And I think you need to have both approaches, to be honest, to absolutely change this within the game because there is no place for it in the game. And Paul, I mean, how much longer do you think before it is kicked out completely? Oh, go on. It's, it's there, it's been creeping, it's been creeping, but things will change. And today, obviously, is another state um, that we're going to get on top of this and something will happen, most definitely. Paul Cannaville, Rasheen Wood, thank you both very much.